yes good morning people i am coming live to you from the city of kampala and today i want to show you what a 25 dollar apartment gives you in kampala in the form of an airbnb all right so behind me is the residence all right so let me go inside and show you what you get for 25 dollars as an airbnb here in kampala and it is quite exquisite all right so let's just go inside and you have a look so so let me first show you the neighborhood uh the apartment is in kira town chira town in uganda they call it chira i'm from kenya so k-i-r-a i tend to pronounce it as kira but it is chira town and this is a secure estate all right the security at the main gate all right of this estate and uh, that is something that i really liked you know in that uh, somebody will just not walk in you know anyhow you know you have to go through security say where you're going etc <music> Now, what you're about to see is not the standard for every BNB in Kampala, because if you frequently use BNB, then you know that rates vary depending on various factors. All right, but rest assured that for twenty-five dollars per night, you can get a two-bedroom apartment in a good and secure estate in Kampala. This particular one is in Kira Town. Uh, in Kampala, they call it Chira, Chira. So I'm from Kenya, so I'll pronounce it as Kira Town. <laughs> And you can see how spacious it is. You know, everything is on point. There's the dining table for six, all right? The kitchen has everything you need. Refrigerator, gas cooker, utensils. And there's even a washing machine out here in the laundry space, all right? It even has a storage room, you know, a, a, an extra room on the side, you know, for you to keep those, uh, you know, extra things that you want to stay outside, but not in the rain, of course, but just uh, somewhere far from... Uh, vicinity. Remember, it's a two-bedroom unit, and uh, one of the bedrooms is in suit, and the other one is none. So the none in suit uses this common toilet here, you know, with hotel quality fittings. You know, I really like the fittings in this bathroom. You know, you can see from the shower, and even the toilet seat. All right, you can see it is top quality. Of course, uh, all that on top of the space again in this bathroom. This is the master bedroom, plenty of storage in those wardrobes, nice inspiring messages on the wall, and also very spacious. This bed is a 5x6 and you can see there is a lot of room left. The bathroom has everything you need. And by the way, if you like to book this unit, there's a link in the description, all right? Just uh, go to that link and you can find more information about this Airbnb.
over to the other bedroom and uh here they have installed a double decker bed and you can see you know there's also so much room left for maneuvering I also like the idea of having shelves on the staircase of this double decker bed. All right, really beautiful. And this is something I've definitely borrowed from this Airbnb. I mean, when you go to Airbnb, don't just be a somebody who just go there to sleep and uh, you know do other things. You know, <laughs> you know there. You know, try. You may see. You may steal some ideas from uh, from those units. Eh? Apart from that, this is a place you can also relax like this. You know while you give your kids bedtime stories you know if you have kids that is give them bedtime stories once they sleep as usual you move to your bedroom <laughs> So I really enjoyed my stay here in Kampala and uh, that was my time in this Airbnb, alright? You can also watch my tour, alright? My tour of Kampala city. You know, I went around the city of Kampala. I went, I saw several monuments, you know, I saw the, uh, the city of Kampala, you know. So uh, you can watch uh, that video too by clicking the link above or uh, you can also find it in the description, okay? My name is Ezra Ondara. I am a content creator from nakuru city in kenya and uh, you can also watch my videos of nakuru and learn more about nakuru city as well so up to that point see you in the next one